What's up? Today we're gonna talk about 3D flame improvements after the update to E11e software. Let's go! So if you're new to my channel, I'm back again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. And in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, uh, troubleshooting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So if you look into the details list of the upgrade of E11e, there's a lot of improvements going on there, but there's especially one thing that makes me curious. That's the 3D flare improvement. So over the years, we know that in the ponds area, whenever you're doing 3D flare, there can be some flow artifacts, which can cause trouble, especially on 3T. So on this upgrade, or E11e, there should be improvements there. So after the installation or upgrade, I noticed that the 3D flare looks different, improved, better. But I was wondering what really happened behind this improvement. If you look into your protocol and then you go in here to the contrast card, usually we are using the non-selected T2 inversory pulse, but now with all the magnets changed to a non-T2 prep inversory. So this new pulse, this is what happens in your protocol, it automatically changes. So this is something that happens behind after the upgrade. I also noticed that there's changes in the TI time. So whenever you have a TR of let's say 5000, and with the old pulse non-selected T2 anniversary, it usually be around 1800 milliseconds, but now it changed it to 1600 with the prep pulse. So this is different, but the images look also different. And uh, with enough said, let's go to the scanner and let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm using E11e right now. And after the update from E11c to E, I noticed a few things. Let's take one of them right here now. It's the 3D flare. So we go to the Siemens tree. We go into the head. We go to library, the 3D, and then we scroll down to the flare. Like that. So you see you have one sagittal, two sagittal, and then this last one is the transversal. So let's go inside one of them and check it. Let's go to edit mode. Scroll down to the flare. Okay, so two AV, that means two averages, right? As seen right there. And another thing I noticed is that right in here, Look at the TR. The TR now as a standard is much higher than it used to be on all the software where we used to be 5000, but now it's 6000. And the second thing is that there's another pulse right here. It's a non-selected T2 prep inverse recovery. On all the software, this option is not available. It's only non-selective T2 inversory on the older software. So this is the thing that makes a difference when it comes to the ponds area, when it comes to the flow artifact around that part. So this will help that flow artifact. You see there's a new there, T2 prep duration. There's a new thing right there. So let's scan a few sequences. I just did a localizer right here. And then I have three sequences ready. You can see number two in line there. That's the original from the Siemens tree, which is open now. Just gonna scan this one and just to check the image quality without any modification. Let's go to contrast and you can see also here it's select with the TR of 6000 and then the TI 8850 and it's used non selective T2 prep inversory. Let's scan that one and then I have an optimized sequence right here just to Let's check if I can push it any further. So with this one, I also have a TR of 6000. And then the same TI time right there. And the T2 prep duration. By that, that also means that I'm using a non-selected T2 prep inverse recovery. With the new prep pulse. So right here now, it's another sequence open. It's optimized like the old software with the TR which is lower around 5000 and then it only has a pulse which is non-selected T2 inverse recovery which is like in the old software and then the TI time is adjusted accordingly to that to 1800. So remember the TI time is adjusted accordingly to the TR time 
if you're changing your TR, you should also adjust the TI type. So let's get another one. I have the fourth sequence right there. Let's open that one. So this is the same sequence as the one I optimized, the TR of 6000, but I only have a fat set pulse right on now. It's because standard from the Siemens, uh, which is the number two in line there, T2 space dot fluid sagittal two averages, it also has a fat sat pulse. So it'll be easy to compare whenever you have a fat sat pulse on this one as well. So I'm just gonna scan this one and uh, we're gonna go to viewing and we're gonna compare. So in front of you here you have the upper row is uh, the old sequence which is TR5000 and using the old prep pulse like you used to do in the older software. And the low one is the new one which I optimized with TR6000 and with the non-selective T2 prep pulse, the new pulse on E11E. So let's compare this one. So I stop right there. Look at this area right there. The flow artifact is less than the lower road. Right there. And back here you can see there's also less flow artifact. And I also guess they will be more visible when it comes to the pawns artifact on the 3T. This is 1.5. Area right there is more suppressed. Overall, the image quality on the lower row, I find it much better. Let's check the coronal plane. Right there, see the area right there. Let's check the axial plane. Okay, so next image right here, our upper row, that's the original Siemens with the two averages, and the lower row is the one I optimized with a TR of 6000. So the TR is the same on both here, but the resolution and the image quality is slightly different. So let's scroll through here. Let's check it right there. You see the area of pounds is great suppressed on both images. And you can also see with one averages, you have this fit artifact right there with two averages is gone. So you can see the overall image quality and decide what is the best, the upper row or the lower row. Let's check the corner right here. Scan time is approximately the same. You both have fat sat on. Let's check the transversal plane right here. All right, let's compare the next images. The next two images right here now, it's the upper row is the one I optimized with the TR6000. And the lower row is the same here. I optimized that one as well, but there's only fat sat on. Let's scroll through here and check the image quality. So my question to you is that, are you liking the fat sat on or off? In your protocol, do you use fat sat or not using fat sat? All right, that's it. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable and I do have a question for you before we close up. For those who are upgraded to E11e, have you noticed any improvements on the 3D flare? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and do not forget to subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so whenever I post new stuff, you will get a notification. Until next time, Take care and see you around.